Hello everyone, welcome back to the Virus Box once again. I'm sorry for the lack of videos past week and a bit. Uh, my main desktop computer had uh, managed to get infected with the Palix Trojan, the Palix virus, which took three Malwarebyte scans, one TDSS killer, and eventually one combo fix scan to get rid of. Now that it's gone, I no longer have things like run DLL32 and DLL host in my sound mixer playing sound the whole time. Which is the main reason why I couldn't record, because they were playing things like um, ads and stuff. They were just playing it the whole time through the sound mixer, making it unable to record any system audio. So any any uh, there would be no audio that would be able to record here. And with my recording software, Camtasia, I don't think you can set it to disable system audio. And if you can, <clears throat> it's just uh, I was more concerned with getting the virus off the computer than recording videos because it's not just my computer this one is a it's a household computer not just my computer but I am back today and I got something that uh, was sort of different how it was targeted we have the Pikachu worm which was really one of the first email worms targeted at uh, more kids instead of adults trying to just uh, or um, the general user opening any effect email attachment well Pikachu of course, Pikachu being made famous by Pokemon, which is where it comes from. Pikachu is probably by far one of the most famous Pokemon. Kids see it, and they would, kids or younger kids and stuff, would see it and want to open it and see what it was all about. So, we'll run it. <coughs> and it says, between millions of people in the world, between between millions of people around the world, I found you. Don't forget to remember this this day every time, my friend. Visit us at http colon slash slash www.pikachu.com. There's a picture of Pikachu there. Now, if we go to the site, which I will, and because of this being a very outdated version of Internet Explorer, no one thinks it's called this Windows 98 virtual machine. Uh, it won't load the page completely correct, but it's loads enough to see what it is. So if you put in Pikachu.com, see, it loads the Pokedex entry for Pikachu. You can see it's all, the page is all screwed up. But you see number 25 in the Pokedex Pikachu, and somewhere along here I had it loaded before. It's an image of Pikachu. There it is. There's Pikachu there. So doesn't really it doesn't do anything until you try to reboot, which we will see now. As the computer restarts, you get a message on boot up. All files and directory will be deleted. Are you sure? Now. The average user, I'm sure, would say no. So that's what we're going to do. Say no. All files and directory will be deleted. Are you sure? No. And then it loads back into Windows. So basically, what the worm tried to do was delete all files in the system folder and all files in, uh, sorry, system folder and I believe system 32. So. That's all there really is to show for this. I'll set the computer up, boot back up to show you the computer would be just fine after this, as long as you said no. You said yes, your computer would not boot. And again, sorry, but I, sorry for lack of videos, but I had to get rid of the Palix Trojan, which I don't know if people see this and would like a video on it. I can try and find a sample of it, but it doesn't do anything graphical or anything cool like the like these old viruses do. So there's not it wouldn't be really much to show, but if people really want to see it, then I would. So, I'll try this again. Thank you guys for watching, and um, bye.